Hello everyone, welcome back to Cracksoid. I'm back with a new review video and in today's video, I'm going to do a deep review of one of the finest ROM in the market, the Fist ROM. This ROM is currently running on Android version 13 and we can expect its Android version 14 very soon. But for now, let's take a closer look inside this Surface ROM and explore the new features it has to offer. About ROM. So as you can see, this is Surface ROM, the latest build available right now and it's running on Android 13 as I mentioned earlier. If you look at the Android security patch label, it's the latest one from October 5, 2023. Nowadays, many people are curious about the kernel. Speaking of the kernel, it includes the Quicksilver kernel. And if you want kernel SU support, that's available as well. But you need to install it manually. That concludes the About ROM section of the Interface ROM. Now let's move on to the next section. Launcher. Now let's dive into the launcher available in this ROM. It comes with its Surface launcher. When it comes to the launcher's home setting, you have the flexibility to perform various tasks. One of them is the ability to customize the icon size and font size according to your preferences. Additionally, there is an option to enable the lens feature in the recent section. However, if you want to use the lens feature, you will need to sacrifice the screenshot option. In other words, enabling the Show Lens button option will replace the screenshot button with the Google Lens button. Personally, I found this change less appealing as I prefer having both of these features side by side. Within the same home settings, there's an interesting feature I'd like to highlight. You can lock the layout on the home screen, effectively securing the icons and widgets in their current positions. You won't be able to add, remove, or rearrange icons and widgets on the home screen. They are locked in place. If you value having a static home screen, this feature is a valuable addition. Similarly, there are other minor 8 practical features that you might find useful on your device, such as wallpaper scrolling, top shadow or dark status bar, and more. However, the feature that excited me the most is the availability of hidden and protected apps in this room, which is a significant advantage. You can directly access the hidden and protected app setting from the home setting menu, allowing you to hide and protect your desired apps with the screen lock on your phone. I emphasize these features because in today's rooms, not many provide both hiding and protecting apps simultaneously. Most rooms do not offer the option to hide apps in their settings, but in Dorfest Room, you have both features, which is truly a commendable inclusion. Camera. Now let's talk about the camera in this room. It's a great news because Dorfest Room includes the latest MI camera. This camera is versatile, allowing you to take high quality photos at 48 megapixels, create beautiful portrait shots, snap regular pictures, and shoot videos. You can record videos at the highest quality, which is 4K at 30 frames per second. What's even cooler is that it's the same camera you would find in MIW stock room, something a lot of people miss when they switch to custom rooms. It's impressive that Dorfest room offers this fantastic camera. Wallpapers and styles. Now let's explore the wallpaper and styles option. While there haven't been many changes, you'll find some useful features. This included dark theme, themed icons, app grid settings, system icon packs, system fonts, and system icon shape choices. However, there is a small thing missing. It does not offer a shortcut option for the lock screen, which most of the rooms provides nowadays. Additionally, in the basic color settings, there are 16 different color options available, whereas some rooms offer up to 20 different color choices in the basic color section. But to be honest, this isn't a deal breaker for most users, myself included. I rarely use this feature on my phone. Lastly, in the wallpaper section, you'll find some cool Dorfest wallpapers, which are quite impressive. However, it's worth mentioning that it does not provide emoji workshop wallpapers, which have become quite popular recently. Dorp Space Miscellaneous Settings now let's explore the miscellaneous settings available in Dorfist settings. 
First, there's the status bar lyric option which can show lyrics on this status bar. If you enjoy this feature, you can enable it here. Next, we have the logo option. It's a bit mysterious why it's here, but you can use this feature to display the dark face logo on this status bar. You can also change its position from left to right. Additionally, there are 34 different logo styles to choose from. If you want a unique and stylish logo on your phone's status bar, this feature can enhance its look. Now let's dive into more of the miscellaneous setting. There are some minor yet handy features like colored icons. You can also enable options like notification count, so Wi-Fi type icon, Bluetooth battery status, so data disabled icon, enable 4G icon, small mobile type icon, and separate signal icons. When you enable the separate signal icons, you will see individual icons for Wi-Fi and network rather than them being combined into a single icon. However, if you disable this option, they will appear as a single icon and won't display network icons. While I was exploring these miscellaneous settings, I was hoping to find other options, but I couldn't locate features like ignore window secure flag, unlock higher FPS in games or unlimited stories. Nevertheless, if you're looking for unlimited stories, you can find this setting by going back to the system section. Here you will discover the unlimited Google photo storage option which is enabled by default. If you prefer, you can turn it off, but honestly, who wouldn't want this fantastic feature on their phone? To illustrate, I'll open the Google Photos app and you can see that it allows you to back up an unlimited number of photos and videos at no charge. This is one of the best things available on custom ROMs for free, so trying a custom ROM on your device is definitely worthwhile. Quick settings. Now let's shift our focus to the quick setting panel of this room. You'll notice that the quick setting panel is incredibly smooth without any stuttering or slowdowns when swiping up and down. This smooth performance is mirrored on your device as well. When it comes to the quick setting styles, there's a wide variety available in this room and they enhance your customization experience. You'll find tiles like sound amplifier, QR code scanner, calculator, font size, screen saver, dot space, compass, language, reboot, reading mode, recorder, and many more useful tiles. These tiles offer convenience and make it easy to access various functions and settings. Private DNS. Now let's dive into the settings section and see what's available to us. First, I'll head over to the network and internet settings where you'll find the private DNS section. This is an important feature. It allows you to change your DNS provider and this ROM even includes a custom Cloudflare DNS provider. This is a great addition as not many ROMs offer custom DNS settings. Perhaps they don't always recognize how important it is. So in case you are not familiar with what private DNS is, I often emphasize its significance in my review videos. If you're curious and want to learn more, please leave a comment and I'll be happy to create a dedicated video explained why it's one of the most crucial features to have. Apps. Now let's navigate to the app setting. Inside you'll discover a variety of options, but one of the most significant ones is the game space feature. It's here to elevate your gaming experience. Additionally, within the app setting, you will find a useful feature called Parallel Space. You might already be familiar with it. Essentially, it allows you to create a duplicate of an existing app on your phone. This means you can use the same app as two separate instances and it's handy for managing two different accounts on those apps. If this concept isn't clear to you, please let me know in the comments and I'll be happy to provide a simpler explanation. Battery. Now let's delve into the battery settings where you'll find a plethora of options to manage your device's battery. First, there's the battery user setting which allows you to check how much battery each app consumes since the last full charge. If you prefer to view the battery uses for the past 24 hours rather than the last full charge, simply enable the view uses for past 24 hours option. This helps you analyze app battery consumptions more effectively. Next, there is the battery charge warning option. 
This nifty feature plays a sound when your battery reaches a certain level during charging. You can customize this level to your liking. It's an interesting feature that can be helpful for many users. I haven't tried it yet, but I'm looking forward to giving it a shot. You can even set your preferred ringtone for this feature. One of the most critical feature in the battery setting is the battery saver option, which is available in this ROM. Even more crucial, it includes the extreme battery saver option. This is a lifesaver when your phone's battery is critically low. Furthermore, the battery setting includes a battery light option which makes an LED light glow while charging your phone. You can configure it to glow when the battery is low and when it's fully charged. Please note that this feature will only work if your phone has a front notification LED light. Additionally, in the battery setting, you'll find the charging control option which you can set to automatic, custom or limit. If you desire precise control over your charging behavior, you must try this feature. It provides you with advanced control without the need for rooting your device. Lastly, you will discover other essential options like battery optimization, block sensors, battery temperature and a battery widget. This helps you maintain better control over your phone's battery health. <coughs> security Now let's navigate to the security settings where you will find various options to enhance the security of your device. This includes features like face unlock, fingerprint recognition, and additional security settings. From the security settings, you can access the app lock settings. This is an important feature that allows you to choose specific apps you want to protect. You can select your desired apps and set an app lock timeout as well. This adds an extra layer of security to your device, ensuring that sensitive apps are safeguarded. Buttons now let's explore the button setting available in the system setting of this room. First, there's the enable taskbar option which adds a taskbar at the bottom of the screen. This feature significantly improves multitasking making it smoother and more efficient. I genuinely enjoy using this taskbar as it's optimized for an enhanced experience. You'll also find the age long swipe action option allowing you to select various actions when you perform a long swipe from the edge of the screen the chosen action will be activated this is a highly useful gesture setting that i particularly appreciate similarly you will discover other valuable options here such as disabling the power menu on the lock screen setting a long press of the power button to activate the torch Additionally, if you scroll down, you'll find the option to display the volume panel on the left side of your screen. In conclusion, these are the exceptional features and customizations available in the Dorfest ROM based on Android version 13. This ROM even offers its own top space section where you can dive into even more extensive customizations. If you enjoy personalizing your device, exploring these settings will leave you impressed with the features at your disposal. Overall, this ROM is a strong choice as a daily driver, offering an extensive array of customization and features. It's not only feature-rich but also stable, delivering a satisfying user experience. I hope you'll enjoy using this ROM when you install it on your device. So thank you so much for watching this video till the end and if you liked my video then don't forget to hit the like button, comment down below, share this video and subscribe to Cracksoid YouTube channel. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.